G'day Ziggy D here, back with some more Nether. So in addition to my previous first look at the game and overview and explanation of the game, I also wanted to give you guys just a straight up running commentary and just go through what the actual gameplay is like, because I think that'll give you guys a real sense of what you can expect to get out of Nether. So let's jump straight into it. Here we are on the first screen you get into after you select a server, and essentially the character selection slash creation screen. As you can see, you have four possible character slots here, and as you can also see, two of my characters have died. Now, when you die, you do appear to lose everything, although it still says I have some money listed here. I'm pretty sure I lose everything. You certainly lose your items, and I'm pretty sure you lose all of your levels as well. So. You can see all these sorts of stats here, like all of this different experience stuff, you've got these different stats here. Uh, and this will only show if your character is still alive and you want to jump back on them and continue with them. As you level, you get you can put points into each one of these guns, Stamina, Survival, Strength, Stealth, and Melee. And I think that pretty much covers that. So we're going to start a brand new character here, I'll just briefly show you. You have a couple different choices of character customization. Three basic heads, there's uh, three basic like sets, I guess, of... Uh, equipment though, this doesn't affect anything in game, so we'll just go with this cool looking one here, we'll go with this one, and there's a few selection of pants as well, just a few different colours of, of shirts as well, let's go for the green shirt, looks pretty good. So uh, in addition to that, currently the game has very limited settings, but I'm pretty sure they'll be increasing this out in the future. There's no current uh, field of view slider, but I did attempt to change the field of view in the any settings, so if that still looks really low to you guys, I did set it to 60, so I'm not sure if that worked or not 100% yet, I haven't had a chance to test down that, but let me know what you think and uh, we'll see how we go. As you can see there's also item menu in here but this isn't really relevant until we actually start this character. So let's jump in and here we go. As you can see you could spawn with a knife. Now if I direct your eyes down to the bottom right you can see a food meter and an energy meter as well as life. I don't really know what the, uh, the little heartbeat monitor thing is. I think it's just there for the theme. Uh, as you can see left side of the screen is the global chat and uh, the other players that are currently testing out the game. Or, you know, having a bit of chat in there and talking about the doing... I think we also have one of the um, game's developers in at the moment talking to people, so that's pretty cool. Now, uh, yeah, these guys have been pretty pretty in touch. Now, as you can see, when I sprint, I lose my energy, so you only have a very limited amount of that. So if you're trying to run away from Nether, you can only do that very briefly. If you can't get away in, like, one, you know, short burst of sprint, you're probably not going to get away. And yeah. other than that, I have a knife and no other weaponry or gear. Now, if I press I, it brings up my inventory. And you can see I've got my backpack slots here, and ranged sidearm, melee, and then some different armor slots as well, which I haven't found anything for those yet, so I'm not sure if it's implemented. If we go over to the map, we currently have, there's a very large map area uh, set, planned out for the game, but currently the only areas that have been developed are these west view here, and this, uh, this island sort of here as well. So this is a pretty hostile area, and we've got some safe zones here, which uh, lead to the objective-based gameplay, which we might be able to see some of that. We'll see what I can do. But uh, as you can see, multiple different blocks. There's something like the game will be launching with about 150 blocks, and it'll be expanding to, as you can see, a lot, a crap ton. So something like 1,500 or 1,000 or something like that. So a uh, pretty pretty sizable game map. Not not quite on the level of you know Daisy, but still a pretty pretty decent sized area. It takes a while to get uh, you know from place to place. So examining our immediate surroundings, I don't see anything really for us to run straight towards to scavenge. So I'm going to take a look at the map. And I'll probably, I'll probably head over to Westview here. So if we go south, which is in the direction we're currently facing, and then uh, we take the road, we take the road right. I'm pretty rubbish with directions sometimes. So we're headed down this way. Can't really see any nethers in our immediate vicinity, so we're okay to kind of walk. We don't exactly want to go sprinting and jumping around. Um, basically, the nether are creatures that hunt almost exclusively by sound. They can, they can, okay, so there, there we have one there. So I'm going to crouch here. Now they can see you at close ranges, I believe, but their primary method of hunting is through sound. So I'm just going to turn the volume up a little bit there. All right, cool stuff. So we want to be super quiet around the nether. Uh, sprinting or normal running close to them will alert them. Uh, otherwise, if falling off a building or, you know, doing something like that, there's a, oh, there's a freaky looking nether up there. I've never seen one of those with the red thing before. So, yeah, these guys are kind of creepy, and uh, when they do engage you, it gets pretty terrifying because they teleport all around you and do all that freaky jazz. They are a pretty, pretty perfect horror monster, I would say. So we're going to have to carefully navigate our way around these guys, but crouching and moving slowly and just being careful not to make any noise. We'll, we'll see you past most nether, uh, unless you ever, you know, screw something up. Of course, gunshots are a, way, a surefire way to alert nether in the area. So I did want to head down that way. 
but uh, as you saw, that that area is a little bit a little bit dangerous and hostile. So we're going to go this way as well. Just check if there's any supplies in this area here. So our first uh, point of order is indeed to look for supplies. We want to find ourselves some weaponry. We certainly want to find ourselves some food. As you've noticed, just in this time that I've been talking, my food meter has depleted somewhat, and this depletes pretty quickly. And uh, you know, if the Nether don't get you, or another player doesn't get you, the food is going to, the hunger is going to get you. So what we've found here is a, uh, you know, a campsite. As you can see, it wasn't that safe for the people that were living in here. But, it is a good opportunity for us to scrounge for some resources. Now, you can get nether and stuff up in, up in these areas here. But uh, as long as we're quiet, we should be okay. However, we have to jump at this gap. Now, there's this cool, something I have noticed, there's this cool, um, lean over feature when you get to edges and this makes it really nice to be able to shoot down buildings and things like that so if you're wanting to bandit some other players and kill them off uh the game's pretty pretty supportive of that with this sort of lean mechanic here if i can demonstrate that probably as i get to a corner you'll notice my character kind of looks down a bit it's uh it's an interesting sort of way of controlling the view there we go you can kind of look down a bit over uh better than you would be able to in some other games which is interesting interesting so i'm gonna have to stand up and jump this gap and then be super quiet. Listen out for nethers. You kind of know when you've alerted nethers because some of them will scream and uh, some will also make this kind of teleporting, this freaky teleporting noise that they make. So it uh, it's pretty obvious when you've screwed up. But uh, I don't, I think this area is pretty safe. So there is that nether on that other roof, but I think we'll be okay as long as we don't get in the way of that. So yeah, pretty gruesome. This guy didn't exactly survive and the nether ate off his arms and legs. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but we'll see if there's any supplies in this area. This area might have already been raided. I'm not seeing any supplies, so looks like it's been pretty scrounged out already. So we'll probably travel along the rooftops and see what we can find. There's quite a few nether on the building along here. So this, there's another one there. This area here, um, where the Westview area, is uh, pretty, there's pretty, uh, quite a few uh, uh, weapons and things like that here. Quite some good supplies, but it's also one of the more hostile areas. It's pretty high nether density from what I've seen. Uh, the players tend to also head out this way to try and get themselves some sweet guns. So we'll see what we can find out. I don't know if I'm jump if I jump whether I'm going to alert this nether. He is creepy as crap. I can hear another teleporting around. So it's someone's someone's spotting been spot. It's possible that we have another player somewhere nearby us. So this is interesting. I'll point you out here. See fl these flashing lights. Generally speaking, uh, cars or locations with flashing lights will have better. Uh, chances at loot, like they're gonna have more loot, in, and we can actually see some loot in the back of that ambulance, so that might be a good way for us to head. But uh, Nether also tend to congregate around them, so <laughs> yeah, makes it a little bit, little bit dangerous. But uh, well, we actually, we actually kind of do want to head in. Yeah, well, this will take us south, and then maybe we can head around that way and uh, try and avoid those Nether. There's quite a few in the area, but we didn't unfortunately find anything on the roof here. So we'll head down. Oh, sweet jump. Now, oh crap. Did I alert another? Yeah, so jumping around on like wooden stuff <laughs> and falling off uh, walkways and things like that is a bad idea. Ooh. Oh, there's one, there's one, okay. He knows I'm here. Knife him, knife him. Ah! Yes, okay. So the red ones are the least threatening of all of them. Oh no, there's not. <laughs> Slash him! So it is possible to deal with, uh, you know, a few nether with a knife. Especially, I'm in a pretty good spot here. Because they don't have very, many, very much area to teleport around. Oh crap, where are they? Get some! Get some, Nether! <laughs> ah. Okay, come on. I need to get out of here. The screams of the Nether have alerted a ton of Nether in the area. I think we got them all, though. Holy crap. I just, like, power leveled. <laughs> so, it is possible to knife some Nether down. And, uh, you know, as you can see, I did okay there. Did one of them actually drop some money? That's kind of weird. But we were... So, 
we'll get some money here. I just, uh, so far I haven't found any use for money, but I imagine later it'll be used to be able to purchase stuff off uh, different types of vendors and stuff like that. If I go into my inventory, it should say cash down there. Yeah, five dollars in cash. So I was able to knife down a few nevers and still manage to survive somehow. But uh, it was close, and our health is very low now, so I don't think we can engage in any more me melee combat. So against the uh, red ones, we can do okay with a knife. The black ones are a little bit scarier. That one didn't do too bad. I managed to kill it before it really did too much to me. But the black ones tend to uh, shoot stuff at you that can blind you and make very uh, combat very difficult. Now, I was heading towards the uh, ambulance was my plan, and uh, if we can find some medical supplies, that'd be brilliant, because I'm quite injured. Now, I believe the ambulance was somewhere over here. Let's see, which direction was I looking off in? Let's get out onto the street and have a look. But you know, we've killed we've killed the nether in this immediate vicinity. As you can see, they tend to teleport around, but since I was on that walkway there, uh, I actually did pretty well to... Creepy sounds. <laughs> I actually did pretty well to fend them off with just the knife. So you can do okay with the knife, and especially if you sink some points. Now actually, on that note, we do have some character points to spend. So, I feel like, you know, going going for some melee, going for some, some stealth would be pretty good. Uh, I might put some put a point into uh, melee. There we go, there's two points in melee. Four points. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Let's put some points into stealth so we can sneak, sneak around a little bit better. And... I don't feel like doing any running. So, we just put... There we go. Four and six percent. Now, I don't actually know where I'm spending this from exactly just yet. But uh, basically, as you level, you can upgrade each of those stats. And upgrading melee means you can kill those nether in less hits. Which, uh, as you saw, melee can be quite effective. But uh, to take on larger groups of nether, especially if you're moving with a group yourself, you want some good firepower. So, let's do some first raiding. Ooh, grasshopper there. So I can definitely see some supplies. You know, they kind of got the little glowing effect there to uh, show you off a bit. So there's a walkway over there. That might be also somewhere interesting to head up onto the power lines, a bit of a, um, uh, there's kind of these structures that have been built, you know, kind of post-apocalypse here. So it looks like whoever has died here has dropped a pistol for us. Excellent. So we now have the pistol and we'll get some ammo for it as well. Now that should automatically be equipped in there in the second slot. And as you can see, standard FPS stuff. Now when you first start, you have a lot of guns to I'm pretty sure increasing your weapon skills uh, reduces that, but as you can see, it's very difficult to aim, especially once you get a scoped weapon, you're trying to aim. you got a lot of sway. But, you know, pretty scary around here with all the nether and everything. So we'll go ahead and loot these bandages, and these will allow us to heal ourselves up a bit. Now, four. Oh, there's another bandage. Basically to toilet paper bandages there. But how do I actually use these? So we'll go consume. So that healed us up a small amount, you know, it's only a small amount of health. The your health, actual health management is very important. But we're up to 610 now, so we've got a bit of, you know, a bit of leniency now to fight some other nether. So, this is pretty cool. There's uh, lots of uh, different, like, higher level walkways and things like that. As you saw, we went up on top of a building before. Multi-story buildings with different, like, scaffolding things around them. But you can also kind of zoom around the city a bit by using these train tracks. And you see, this train track will actually take us all the way to Westview. So if we can get ourselves along here then uh, we'll be able to take ourselves all the way to Westview, which is my current destination, because I know there's some there's uh, some good good stuff over there. There's some good stuff in Westview. So that'll be our mission, to try and make it to Westview. Overgrown with vegetation makes it a bit hard to see what's coming. And, uh, you know, if we run into a nether on the uh, <laughs> on this walkway here, you know, there's not, that's not much we can do to get around it. And there is a crashed train there as well. Which I have seen that you can enter some areas of those trains, as you can see down there. Possibly for looting, possibly also to get up here. But uh, if we do happen to alert a nether in here, even though it doesn't seem like a nether would be able to walk up here, uh, it's actually quite possible for nether to teleport and kind of jump around multiple levels. So yeah, <laughs> you want to be careful. They're pretty hard to avoid in general. But let's walk through here. I haven't seen any yet, so we're, we're looking okay. Let's see if I can get a bit of a higher view here. And there might also be nether underneath us, so we'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. There's uh, one over on that pile of rubble over there. I can, I can definitely hear something nearby. Ooh, there's one very close. Possibly underneath us. Or on the other side of this train. <laughs> I can kind of hear him off to my right side a bit from that stereo audio. Let's see what we can see down here. 
So there's, uh, oh crap. Have we been seen? Whoa! Okay, yes, we've been seen. Now I want to try and avoid using my gun if possible, because I don't want to load anymore. We can kill this guy before any more come. Get some! Okay. There's definitely more coming. Heard another one, but I can't hear any more coming now. So, yeah. He, I think he might have actually seen us. We weren't making too much noise. I would love to go down into Bailey's there. As you can see, flashing signs. Kind of a shop. Liquors and fine foods would be a great place to find some supplies. Possibly some food. We are running pretty low on food at the moment. There's also some flashing light trucks over there. But, uh, yeah. The problem is, to get down there, I'm going to have to drop down. And uh, the sound of, you know, dropping down a few meters like this... Is, uh, <laughs> is sure to alert any nether within like a four block radius. So, got okay. Maybe we'll find another way down, or maybe we'll just continue on. But there's an, actually a military truck over there. So we're, we're getting into a pretty good loot area now. Which just also means we could run into some other players. And I haven't decided yet whether I'll cooperate with other players or bandit them. I haven't really been paying atten attention to the chat on the left side to what people are doing. But I just thought I'd go for a solo coming through now, just to give you guys a rundown of how the game plays and everything. So I could have used my pistol in that engagement, but since it was only one nether that I encountered, I thought it best to uh, just uh, try and take it out with my knife and then use my pistol if other ones come. You can kind of keep them reeling if you do do well with the knife attacks and keep them on one side of you. If they teleport around, it can be a bit harder. But if you can keep them on one side of you, then uh, you can kind of keep slashing them down. As you can see, we did pretty well. I think we actually gained another level as well, so let's put some more points into melee and become a, a melee badass. I might, have, I might not have actually leveled, I can't remember. Okay. So, the uh, train tracks are heading downwards now. So we should be able to head out and around. I probably will avoid just dropping. There we go. Now there's actually a truck there and it's got some more... Um, another pistol. Which I don't really need another pistol, but I can take it and unload the bullets from it. And uh, some also some, some more 9mm ammo there. There will be quite a few nether in this area. As I said, the flashing light areas are... Uh, oh, this is some 5.56 rifle ammo. Someone has been seen. Is it me? Yes, okay. Crap, how did he see me? Flash him down. Okay, so these are kind of just the standard dark nether. Which I actually got some cash on. Sweet. Oh, there's more coming. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Alright, grab the grab the gun and we'll make a make a beeline out of here. So these ones are just seem to be standard melee sort of nether. However, there are darker coloured ones that also spit this kind of smoke at you. Smoker style from uh, Left 4 Dead, you know. And uh they them blinding you makes it a bit a bit difficult to fight. Now I want to head into this this store here, because there's gonna be some there's potential for food in here as well. However, as you can see, nether on the roof there. <laughs> And uh, there's sure to be more around in this area as well. So I've not been doing a good job of moving around undetected. And I've actually injured myself a bit more as well now. So, did I see any supplies just in here? E to examine. What am I examining? Ah, all the ice cream is melted. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. No ice cream for us. We'll pick up this cash. So as I said, no, I don't think there's a current use for cash in the game. But, uh... In the future, I imagine it'll be used to purchase like extra sort of stuff in the safe zones once you've secured them. So there's kind of these mini games, if you guys missed the last video, where uh, objective get based gameplay, we did actually find some food, fantastic. Where essentially the objective is to uh, is to clear out, usually with a group of people, uh, these safe zones, and then to activate these anti nether devices, and then to defend those safe zones. And once you've secured those safe zones, you know, it's a place for people to congregate, to find medicine, to heal up, and... Uh, Another. <laughs> to trade with each other, so lots of lots of benefits to be had there, obviously. Now, I, I kind of want to head back in that other direction. I'm tempted to shoot this nether on the roof because, you know, that's a, that's a terrible idea, but I've never seen these red light nethers before, these guys with these searchlights. And uh, I, would, I wouldn't mind showing you guys some, some uh, nether firefight action, but uh, get, betting, getting a better gun might also be a better option. Let's actually reload. Oh crap. This one's seen us. Oh. He 
Okay, there's nothing. Yeah, okay, so it's getting dark, so the nether are getting much more hostile and uh, coming in full force. Let's actually kind of leave this area here. There's this small supplies... Oh, we've already searched that truck. Alright, switch the knife. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, got me down. No, my crunchy bends! I lost my crunchy bend. <laughs> Okay, so that gives you guys a rundown of the uh, general solo rummaging, scouting, avoiding, and fighting nether. The uh, the next points of gameplay are essentially to, you know, join up with a party, try and secure these different zones, cooperate, help each other find better weaponry. There's rifles and shotguns and sniper rifles and Uzis and all that good jazz to find and to keep yourself finding ammo and to secure yourself. It is, at its heart, a sandbox survival game, so it's up to you to make your fun and usually that's best had with other people, but this gives you an idea of the basic gameplay when playing solo. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.